वेलकम टू कॉन्फिक न्यूज 24 फोर डेली बुलेटिन वी शेयर विद यू विद अपडेट्स ऑन ग्लोबल कॉन्फ्लिक्स टुडे विल फोकस ऑन आवर ऑन गोइंग कवरेज ऑफ रशिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक वेयर रशिया हैज सफर्ड एन अदर डिफीट इन ईस्टर्न यूक्रेन we know that for the last 3 weeks ukrainian forces have been on the offensive in kharkiv and after taking large territories in kharkiv they entered northern donetsk where they have captured a key city lemon i have been updating you regularly within the past 1 to 2 weeks that lemon was about to fall details for you second viewers Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov today lashed out at some Russian officers after Russian defeat in Lemon. Ramzan Kadyrov is obviously Russian ally. His sons fought in Ukraine. He sent fighters to Ukraine. He is a leader from Chechnya, Russian Republic. What did he say? he urged use of nuclear weapons as well viewers and lastly belarus another russian ally russia is sending thousands of its soldiers to belarus weapons heavy weapons and thousands of russian soldiers are being transported to belarus is russia planning another attack on ukraine from belarus because we saw that in february when this war started russian forces launched uh, offensive uh, into ukraine from eastern side from russia and from belarus as well towards kiev ukrainian capital with details for you firstly viewers uh, lemon a key town in uh, northern donetsk region uh, russian forces have lost lemon it has now been confirmed because pictures videos are being shared showing ukrainian soldiers in lemon they are inside lemon and they are consolidating their control of lemon Russians largely retreated from Lemon they might have been captured some of them and killed too but reportedly a uh, major uh, presence uh, of uh, Russian military in Lemon is no more and Russians uh, withdrew from Lemon Lemon was encircled and Russians were left with no option but to retreat from Lemon So you see that uh, Ukrainian counteroffensive started in Kharkiv southern Kharkiv they took control of areas uh, to the west of Oskol river on uh, Kharkiv Russia border they crossed Oskol river they crossed Sivsky Donets river they entered uh, northern Donetsk from Kharkiv and there in northern donetsk lemon was a key city uh, where russians had made uh, large scale deployments now lemon is lost it means northern donetsk is lost front lines will uh, now be pushed towards luhansk luhansk donetsk border and reportedly while i'm recording this video ukrainian forces have started shelling on luhansk cities like lischansk like severodonetsk kremena is under shelling too so from kharkiv war is approaching uh, luhansk now it's a major defeat for russians uh, within the last 3 weeks Russians have lost territory spread across 1400 square kilometers. So you see that Russians are losing control of the territories uh, they have been in control for months. Ukraine on the offensive uh, and uh, Ukrainian counteroffensive is gaining momentum with every passing day. Meanwhile, UK, uh, US 
NATO countries uh, and US all are supporting Ukraine. They have intensified, they have beefed up their military support for Ukraine. They know that now people believe that Ukraine has a real chance of winning this war. That uh, it can actually push Russians out of all territories of Ukraine. Even those territories which have been under indirect Russian control since 2014, like Lugansk, Donetsk, parts of Lugansk, Donetsk were under indirect control of Russia. Even these territories can be retaken by Ukraine. It is being said now that it can happen. That is why West, uh, US, uh, they are announcing more assistance weapons assistance, financial aid for Ukraine. Meanwhile, we know that Putin has uh, annexed four uh, regions of Ukraine, uh, Zaporizhia, Kherson, Lugansk, Donetsk. Interestingly, uh, this city Lemon is in Donetsk. And Donetsk has been annexed by Russia. It means that Ukrainian forces have taken control of a Russian city, which is basically a Ukrainian city, but uh, yesterday Putin signed uh, a decree making uh, Lugansk, Donetsk, uh, Kherson and Zaporizhia parts of Russia. Uh, we have clips for you, three small clips showing the presence of Ukrainian military in uh, Lemon. No doubts uh, that uh, Ukraine is clearly in control of Lemon City. Watch these clips. Then we'll talk about Ramzan Kadyrov, Chechen leader, who is mad at some Russian officers. Why? Welcome to Liman, Yebuchia Ublutki. Perche Zhovnia. Razhortayem nash. Derzhavni prapar. Stanovlium. Na nashu zemlu. Liman. Blok Rodiani. Secondly, we have Ramzan Kadyrov, Chechen leader from Chechnya, Russian Republic. Today spoke. He lashed out at some Russian officers, military officers. He criticized uh, Grasimov and Alexander Lapin. Alexander Lapin is the in charge of Russian military in the area where Russians have suffered a defeat in Lemon. Ramzan Kadyrov said that Lapin was not uh, sitting close to front lines. His office is 100 kilometers away from uh, Lemon. And he did not support, he did not send necessary reinforcements in Lemon. He did not uh, send logistical reinforcements to Lemon. Uh, uh, troops fighting in Lemon were facing shortage of ammunition. Uh, they were facing other problems as well. And Lapin was sitting 100 kilometers away from Lemon. He did not lead from the front. And uh, alarmingly, uh, Ramzan Kadyrov today suggested use of low-yield nuclear weapons. He urged Putin to use low-yield nuclear weapons against Ukraine. It's a dangerous uh, uh, suggestion from Ramzan Kadyrov because if Russia starts using Nuclear weapons, obviously, US NATO will respond as well. They have been saying that they are ready uh, for any major escalation by Russia. So it's a very dangerous uh, suggestion. Uh, Putin has been threatening that uh, he would uh, use all means, including nuclear option, to defend Russian territories. Now, technically, uh, Lugansk, Donetsk, uh, Kherson, Zaporizhia are Russian territories because yesterday he signed a decree making uh, he signed a decree ma making the four zones part of Russia. So coming days are very crucial because uh, Russian side is getting frustrated. Ramzan Kadyrov frustrated, Putin a little frustrated as well. So in frustration we could see some 
desperate uh, moves which could lead to further escalation uh, not only between Russia and Ukraine but between Russia and NATO, Russia and US. Lastly, viewers, uh, uh, it has been confirmed that now thousands of Russian troops are being transported to Belarus. Around 20,000 are being transported to Belarus uh, and uh, heavy weapons, Russian weapons, some already there, more are being transported to Belarus. There, are, there, there were around 1,000 Russian soldiers in uh, Belarus. Now 20,000 more are being sent. Is this an offensive deployment or defensive? When this war started in uh, February this year, uh, Russian forces were in Belarus. They were conducting military deals there. And from Belarus, they entered Ukraine. They captured uh, some territories and they moved towards the Kiev, Russia, uh, Ukrainian capital. But they could not uh, sustain their advance towards the Kiev. They managed to reach very close to Kiev uh, through airborne operations, through, through ground offensive from Belarus. But ultimately, they decided to withdraw. And they withdrew from the areas uh, under their control on ukraine Belarus border. So since then, uh, Russia has been decreasing its military presence in Belarus. But now, suddenly, Russia is stepping up its military presence in uh, Belarus. Is Russia planning another ground offensive towards Kiev, Ukrainian capital from Belarus? Uh, thousands of soldiers are being sent there. It means that Russia is planning something. Lukashenko is supporting Russia. We know that uh, Belarusian soil was used in February and March by Russia to launch a ground offensive uh, on Ukraine. Belarusian military was not involved, Belarusian military assets were not involved, but Belarusian soil was used by Russian forces to enter uh, Ukraine. Once again, it seems that planning is being uh, done to launch some sort of offensive towards Ukraine from Belarus. Thank you for watching.